Welcome to Power Insights from the Business of Hockey and the Gold with your host, Les Kowalski. Pull up a chair and get a front row seat to business insights and knowledge, helping you accelerate in understanding business. Let's start this episode. day and age, you need to take a completely different perspective when trying to generate revenue as an entrepreneur. The problem in today's market is that you not only need to be creative, but you have to be able to think outside the box. I think there's a lot of people who use the phrase thinking outside the box almost as a modern day buzzword. So what does it mean to think outside the box? Well, you have to be able to have an understanding of how to actually apply a structure and a set of logistics so you can execute what you're trying to do. So if you're trying to do something that would fall under the phrase thinking outside the box, in reality, you'd be doing something that's either more creative or something that's not part of the norm or something that you don't see every day. It's one thing to just say the phrase thinking outside the box, but how do you execute on that phrase? You need to understand what is the structure behind that phrase so that you can make things happen. It doesn't matter if you're an entrepreneur who's been in business for 30 years, or if you're just starting out in business, or if you're in the front office of a junior hockey team or that of a major hockey franchise league team. You're listening to this episode more than likely because the title caught your interest. If you haven't listened to the last two episodes in this podcast series, episodes seven and eight, you need to listen to that. Remove all emotions and just be objective when listening to those two episodes, especially episode eight. What is in the media and what is behind the scenes of an organization? You know what? Those are two different things. There's a very dramatic element in the media when reporting takes place, when dealing with public figures. And so when I say Kyle Dubas, it'll put an image in your mind, whatever that is, and you'll have an opinion on that. You need to listen to episode eight and listen to the process that he was exposed to. It's really important as it will set a foundation in your mind with things. It doesn't matter what age you are. If you understand how to execute things in business, it'll allow you to achieve whatever goals you set in business. That's what Power Insights is. It's focused on removing all the white noise and all the bias so you can go from point A to championship level for yourself in the most efficient way possible so that you can achieve whatever business goal or goals you set. If you get right into what it means to think outside the box, for me, it's about developing a completely different way of thinking and then generating results from it. It's about rewiring how you approach things from a completely different perspective. I've developed methods and I'm going to get into one of them very briefly in this episode, how to get out of that mindset of I can't do that or I don't know how to do that. If you go back to the previous Power Insights podcast episode, episode one, which is actually episode four in the Business of Hockey and the Goal podcast series, one of the things that I was talking about is about getting out of your comfort zone and embracing new perspectives. Analytics in hockey is a new perspective. It's abstract and things that are even slightly abstract is not an easy thing to adopt by a lot of individuals because it's hard to understand. You have to be open to listen to new things so that progress can take place, including for yourself. You can't just discount a perspective because you don't understand it. In business, that's really critical because that one perspective that you discount may be the one thing that achieves your goal or improves your quality of life and that of your family. And so I want to talk a little bit about that and what I did when I got into business and what I had to do to break out of my comfort zone. As I said previously, it wasn't like There was somebody standing on the side of the road saying, I'm going to help you and show you the ins and outs of business. That didn't exist. And so I had to create something from nothing. When I started being an entrepreneur in my mid-20s, the thing that went through my mind was, how do I start this? I didn't understand the perspective. And so I came up with this idea and approach that may sound a bit crazy, but I tell you, it worked really well. And what I did was I decided to create an unachievable goal and then I strive for it. And I'll tell you why I did that. When you define something in your mind that you're unable to achieve and you want to turn that into something that you want to achieve, the process of trying to achieve an unachievable goal, you actually start to rewire your brain and you start to push and force yourself out of your comfort zone. And then what happens is you start thinking, what is it that I need to do in order to achieve that unachievable goal? And then what happens is you get into this perspective and mindset where it begins to force you to look at things 
things from a completely different perspective. You start looking at what resources do I have? What resources do I need in order to achieve that unachievable goal? You know, I had no skills in business when I started my mid 20s. It didn't exist. And so I had to put myself into situations that allowed me to create the business knowledge and the structures behind different transactions. And that I started to create then the required wisdom and the tools on how to move forward. And so by creating an unachievable goal, you force your mind and your whole way of doing things to start looking at things from a completely different perspective. And you start thinking about what do you need to learn in order to do that? And then what happens by going through that type of process, you start picking things up otherwise would never have thought about before. You start looking at things from perspectives you never considered before. And to me, that's the first step that you need to do moving forward on how you need to be able to go into developing the skills necessary on what exactly you want to do. If you look at the biggest hockey franchise in the world, the league, when you consider the business side of the operation, they look for people who think differently and they bring them in. You have to have the same perspective as an entrepreneur, regardless if you've been in it for 30 years or you're just starting out. The ability to adapt or even consider different perspectives is what will give you a competitive advantage. Set any opinions you have aside when I say the words Cal Dubas. Look at what Brendan Shanahan did. Look at the process. Look at the methods and reasoning for his decision making. You may think that big business and hockey has nothing to do with small business, but it does. It actually, it's more relevant than you may think. You know, being creative alone is not enough, but being creative to achieve the goal that you want to achieve by being creative in creating the foundation of the experience necessary to achieve that goal. Well, that's a different perspective. And I did that. And I'll tell you what it was that I actually tapped into. When I did that, the end result that I achieved, which I'll get into later in this episode, I created a personal track record that I was able to use as a foundation for leverage for my business deals and business transactions. And by the time I was done developing it completely, it had executed at a level at such an intensity and such an impact that I continue to use it today. And its impact is as relevant back when I first developed it as it is today. So what I created for myself is the ability to have something that I leverage in different ways that allows me to open doors in business for myself, wherever I want to go, whatever direction I choose to go. In essence, I created a power roadmap for myself. And I'm using that knowledge and those techniques to teach you in this Power Insights series how to do that for yourself. But I'm also providing support behind that because training alone is not enough. And so I'm also providing the guidance and knowledge on how to create a key so that you have the ability to open pretty much any door, anywhere you want to go on anything that you want to do in business. I did it for myself and I'm going to help you do it for yourself as well. That's what a power roadmap is. And that's the foundation of what power insights is. You know, in my opinion, there are two non-depleting, non-exhaustible resources that will always remain available. One has to do with the resources as creativity, and the second one has to do with resources as relationships. It's not just the strategies necessary to be able to achieve what you're trying to do. It's about developing a key for yourself that opens doors for you from a completely different perspective. And I can tell you, the key that I created for myself, it's pretty intense. So let me give you an example of the results that the key I created for myself has produced and what type of doors it's opened for me. When all the internet businesses were starting up, this was referred to as the dot-com era. The key I developed for myself was focused on opening doors in business on the institutional side, or otherwise known as big business. One of the opportunities that I created for myself with my key was accessing strategic relationships that resulted in providing me the privilege of gaining access to pre-IPO stock on a tech company before I went public on the NASDAQ stock exchange in New York. And that was not an isolated case and had nothing to do with luck. That's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. As an entrepreneur, you need to be able to open doors for yourself and establish strategic relationships to move your business forward. So I did that for myself and I've continued to leverage my key across different areas and different industries. And every single time I apply it, it opens doors for me and lets me execute things at a level in business that produces results at such an intensity, it creates an efficiency to achieving my business goals. My goal and what I'm going to do for you in this Power Insight series is I'm going to help you walk you through how you can develop a key for yourself. And I can tell you this is going to get really intense. You need to know how to develop different avenues to financial growth for yourself and your circumstances in the most efficient way when you're an entrepreneur. And the first step in being able to do that is the development of the key for yourself. In order to even entertain something like that, you have to be willing to be open to look at new perspectives. I'm going to be using hockey, hockey analytics, and the business of hockey as reference points so that it'll be easier for you 
you to relate to and understand some of the concepts and methods I'm going to be talking about as I continue to move forward in this series. Once you have a key, then it's about strategy and structure. Power Insights is going to help you understand how to create opportunity for yourself, how to structure a business deal, and then how you negotiate that deal when you're executing things at the highest levels. My goal is to allow you to break through into levels that create the greatest impact of results for you. What I'm talking about is not just isolated to those that are starting out in business, but this applies to entrepreneurs who are established. It's about creating a competitive advantage in new untapped ways. It's about generating revenue in new untapped ways. You have people who consistently use the phrase thinking outside the box like a marketing buzzword. The bottom line is that you need to understand the structure behind that phrase and how to leverage the structure for yourself. There's nothing selfish about wanting to improve things for yourself and your family short term or long term. My goal is to help you develop your own key and then I'm going to show you and walk you through how to create your own power roadmap. The power side of power roadmap in abstract terms is that key that you will create for yourself because it opens the door to wherever you need to go. And so that key, when you develop it, it needs to produce an impact. In this day and age, if you want to have the greatest impact for revenue, you have to take a much more focused approach and a much more refined approach in order to achieve your business goals in the most efficient way. And that's what I've done for myself. The key that I developed for myself when I applied it produced a significant impact. It was so impactful that I have no need to alter it or augment it in any way and will retain its relevance through the remainder of my entire business career. It's that intense. And this is based on something that I created from nothing. The way I've structured things for myself is to allow me to have the greatest flexibility in generating opportunities for myself. So I wanted to share with you how this all started for me and provide a little more background on myself. It all started when I was 27 years old. I relate to the issues and bias that Dubis and Cheka had to deal with because the issues I'm talking about, it's not limited to just me when I was 27 or what they had to deal with. It's anyone of any age. You know, I remember this one day like it was yesterday. It's pretty crystal clear in my mind still. I remember going downtown in this major city and I remember standing on the steps outside of this bank I was standing there looking from the corner of two streets intersecting and I looked around. I looked at the people driving by, you know, with their vehicles and they had some pretty nice vehicles. And then I looked up at the skyline and I saw some pretty nice houses and I stood there. So there I was in my 20s and I'm thinking to myself, you know what, I'm not going to be able to achieve what I'm seeing at the rate I'm going. I'm not going to be able to get any of this if I don't come up with a different approach. And so I stood there and I was thinking, how exactly am I going to do this? And that's where I came up with, I'm going to create an unachievable goal and I'm going to strive for it. And you know what happened? That approach and my methods and strategies helped me develop business skills that I'm going to share with you later on. And they are intense. What I did not realize is that the key that I developed for myself that I mentioned earlier was only one part. Now I needed to go into the trenches and build my own business from scratch and experience what that is and the risks associated with that. When I applied my key to one of my businesses because I wanted to see what was going to happen, the end result was a significant gross revenue generated from nothing. You don't need to generate that type of return if you don't want to, but for an entrepreneur to have the understanding how to develop something from nothing and accelerate things to levels that achieve the greatest impact and produce revenue from nothing, it's not magic. It's about knowing and applying the structure behind the phrase, think outside the box. And so what was my unachievable goal that I set for myself in my 20s? I wanted relationships to individuals who were investors in big business. I must have done something right because I'm doing a special presentation to that investment group in New York in about two months. And I'm just a small town guy. I achieved my unachievable goal I set for myself when I was 27. Now today, I came up with a new one. You're going to have different goals, but that's what I wanted for myself at that time. This is not an easy process that I'm going to be talking about, but it's effective. This Power Insights format is going to give you a different perspective on things. I'm going to show you how the word I can't can actually be changed even if you have limited or no resources. In order for you to be successful in what you want to do, I need to spend the time through this podcast series to help you rewire how you perceive things and have you understand things from a different point of view. What I'm talking about is for you to leverage the resources you have available to you right now and develop access to new resources that will help you shorten the time in achieving the goals 
you're setting for yourself and utilizing entrepreneurship as the vehicle. One of the things that I also wanted to mention is that I'm developing these Power Insight episodes sequentially. Even though you're listening to this particular episode, you want to start from the very beginning of the Power Insight series as each of these series builds on each other. Look at the podcast episodes in the Business of Hockey and the Goal series and anything in the title that starts with Power Insights is what you want to look for. I'm working on the next episode and I'll be posting that soon. As I develop this out, I'll keep you posted on other initiatives. Have yourself a great day and I look forward to sharing more knowledge.